Right, so this is the NGen battery. Now, the reason why I wanted to get one of these to try out is because I have a range of machines that I use and I've recently done a rig rundown video where I go through what I use and the reason why I use them. Now, one of those machines is the Solnova 2, which is a 2.5 millimeter stroke. And I, I find a 2.5 mm stroke is very, very good for black and gray. Now, my only issue with that is I, I had to use it with a power supply because all other batteries that were out, but I have, I'm not saying all of them do this, but out, out of some of the batteries that I have, I kept having issues with the connectors on the batteries themselves and it made them redundant. So I ended up going back to the power supply and I just thought to myself, I wonder if the end gen is going to be any good and will that solve a problem for me? What you get when you get the end gen from Cheyenne is you get the battery the power unit, I'm going to call it the battery pack. And you also get three batteries. You get a charger, which is one of those classic E-Fest ones, which is a USB Type-C charger. You get the charging cable here and a little carry case for your batteries. And that's kind of like what you get. Because they've got smaller batteries with these, you can be expected to get up to four hours battery life from each battery. With the battery life, it's going to come down to a lot of different factors as well. Stroke length, voltage range you know the longer the stroke higher the voltage the less time you're going to get the lower the stroke lengths like 2.5 and the lower the voltage you're going to get more time out of your battery because it, because it's going to be less power consumption coming from from it but four hours you know it does a job again it's going to be one of those things right where you are going to have people out there that are just going to be like oh my god you only get four hours far i'm like do i'd rather have four hours of good consistent clean power output from a battery than six hours of absolute trash from a different battery and especially the cheaper ones that could in long, the long term cause problems with your machine so it is you know it's that thing quality over quantity uh, it's the weight of these as well if you wanted to know it's 70 grams without the battery and is 95 grams with the battery one thing I've noticed so far is the 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 power supply or the the output of the power supplied to the machine is very similar to this to same standard or same quality of uh, power output I would say that you get from their power supply, and it is also a little bit different. Just adjust my glasses. A lot uh, it is a lot different to some of the other batteries I had out there, which kind of I think adds weight to my theory that maybe. Uh, Cheyenne machines run better on their proprietary stuff so their power supplies their batteries it all works better now using it with a Solnova 2 it's not that back heavy it's fairly comfortable to use you're going to have a little bit of a back put on it but not that much that it's it's bad in any way one thing I will say about this battery pack is I personally feel that it's aimed more towards the Solnova series like the little ones so the Solnova 2 or the original Solnova because of the size of it you know, if you look at the size now if you use it with something like a Unio or the OG Hawk Pen or even if you use it with a Spirit of Thunder a Luna a Terra you're gonna have a problem where you're gonna back pull and it's just gonna end up being stupidly long so I really feel like this may be why maybe one of the reasons why this battery pack has not seen as much light or been publicized as much as some of the other products because i feel like it's limited in that sense where you can only use it with a solnova 2 or solnova 1 however it's really good so one thing i like about this battery pack that they've got is they've actually got a screen with buttons so changing the voltage the, the battery display, the battery life is all on a nice little screen, which is really bright, easy to see. And I really like that because obviously with the other wireless machines that I had, it was the whole kind of like what what the you know motion control. So I really hope that they put this sort of feature, even the way you swap the batteries out, I really hope that that goes on to the next series of wireless title machines that they make. So because I, I think it's 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 decent like it's an anti-rolling feature as well because it sticks out so it's pretty good 
swapping out the batteries super easy it's literally like take that off pop that out pop a new one in and you're good to go so the design of the battery uh it does make it easier to barrier you can barrier with barrier film cling film or you can use a little bit of a wider clip coat sleeve personally myself i found it easier just to barrier with cling film barrier film is a bit too sticky but yeah cling film seems to be easier for me because it's easier to take off when you want to swap the batteries out now with the design of it it's nice and compact it's got a the lower a lower center of gravity the weight is more towards the bottom because of the aluminium design and the rest is plastic but i think because of that it does stop the uh, the machine from feeling back heavy which is i i find a lot more comfortable for tattooing with obviously if you've got the longer pen machines it doesn't matter it's going to be pulling back so the operating voltage rings for the engine is 4.7 volts up to 12.5 Myself, when I'm using it with my Shane machines, the Solnova and the Solnova 2, usually using it around about between like 8 to 9 volts. And I'm getting a decent amount of battery life with it as well by using it in that voltage range. It has a built-in, you know, anti-roll design, the way that sticks out. I, I like that. I've noticed that seems to be a signature thing on a lot of their machines where they have that really simple little notch cut out. And that, it's just a, it's, you don't notice it. And it does show that it's not like, anti-rolling is not an afterthought you have some companies that they don't even consider that and then afterwards you have to buy products to stop your machines from rolling when all it takes is a little notch or a little wedge you know cnc'd into the machine but um i do like that they've done that with the battery okay so for the people who really really want to know really want to know all the details and the specs right read off my phone two seconds they have adjustable display orientation three batteries the charge of the cable included the size of it is 73 39 by 33 millimeters it's made from anodized aluminium and plastic and it's made in germany so that's for people who want to know like the details so price wise for this you're looking at i'm just looking at a couple of different websites but you're looking at around about the 190 to 192 pound mark for one of these now this is also going to depend on where you are in the world taxes and so on but you know decent price for a very good quality built product that is built in germany that has decent batteries with it and has and performs well so i will say i was um, i'm very happy that i asked for this and because what it's done it's allowed me to be able to use my son over to a lot more because i don't have to dig out my old power supply and plug it all in i can just have it set up with all my other wireless tower machines so uh obviously for me a massive pro but i think if you are somebody that is a Cheyenne user and you have got the sol nova 2 or you have the sol nova you got one of the shorter machines and you are looking into batteries i honestly think um it's definitely something you should take a look at because it's something that again doesn't get as much publicity as it should and i think it's a really good product so well done to Cheyenne for making this. Um, again, it's not going to be suited for everyone. But the people that it's going to be suited for, I honestly think you are going to like it and you're going to appreciate it. But if you've got any questions about this that I haven't covered in the video, drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you with an answer at a later date. Take it easy.